Well, here we are. Waterfall destination. So, weather. It is pouring down the rain. Slight mist in the air, but great for waterfalls. I'm at Alva Glen. Three words on the screen. There's a couple just laughing at me just over here. Think I'm talking to myself, but no, nope, I'm talking to you guys back at home. Sat in front of your tellies or your computers or your PCs or your phones. Well, let's get my waders on and I'll see you there. Bye for now. Okay, waders on. Let's get rocking and rolling. I'm here in the Ockles, starting off at Alva Glen in search of a beautiful waterfall. I've got about six kilometres to do up through the glen, but I'll be keeping an eye out for some lovely compositions as I make my way up the glen. I've never been to this waterfall before. It's actually called the Craighorn Spout, or the Craighorn Waterfall. So let's get going and uh, hopefully find it. Now I'm in search and uh, well I'm giving myself a challenge really. The sky is very very flat. Not a day to be in the mountains or up on the hills. So what do I do? Waterfalls. I'm all prepared. I've got my waders on. I'm making my way up the glen. Just look at that. Look at the greenery on these rocks down here. Look at that. This is right next to the car park. I'm going to get down there on the way back. I want to get further up the glen to the, the main waterfall itself, but I'll definitely capture this on the way back. Lovely bit of foreground here, just down the bottom here, of a cascade leading up to the main waterfall itself. See if I can get a good angle on that. Right, let's get going. So this is the actual point where I'm going to break the track here and I need to make my way down to the actual stream with the burn just down here then cross over then make my way up to Craighorn waterfall. It's a gamble which side am I going to go up? Possibly the left side because I wouldn't mind uh, the way the water is coming down the hill. The water coming in from the left hand side of the bottom of the frame. But we'll see how that one turns out. Right, let's find a way down. It obviously looks like there's a track down there. So, uh, yeah, let's get moving. The weather, it's misty rain. It's like that soaking wet rain. So I'll try and have the camera out as less as possible, put it away. If I see another shot, grab it out of the bag. Right, let's get down there. Look at that! Woo -hoo -hoo! That is a very, very lovely waterfall. It's literally took me about 35 minute walk to get here. Nice and simple, straight track all the way here. You do have a little stream at the bottom to cross, so do prepare to get wet feet. But I am wearing all the gear, Gore-Tex, waders. So I am staying nice and dry today. Well, let me run you through my composition alrighty here we are here we are here we are at the waterfall well let me just run you through my composition but firstly let me say this video is sponsored by me alone no one else so let me show you the back of my camera just to give you a view of what I'm capturing so there we have it coming in from the bottom right zigzagging up to the main waterfall itself. F8, I am going to photo stack this so everything's in pristine focus. ISO 100. And that is it, circular polarizer on for the water itself. 
so I'm not getting no glare at the bottom of the frame here. But yeah, six of a second, F8, ISO 100. Well, I think I'm done here at the, at the bottom of the falls. What I'm gonna do now is just push up and just look for the nice compositions of the main waterfall itself. Now, I am gonna get a compulsory selfie here done. Okay, here we go, selfie time on a waterfall. So, on my involometer, 45 seconds. Got all my settings plugged in, ISO 100, F8. A third of a second, focusing just on the ledge up there where I'm gonna go. 45 seconds and start. I do apologise if there's a big waterfall sound in the back, but saying that, if you're struggling to find a waterfall, just stop where you are, have a listen. You'll probably hear it before you see it. Before we go guys, just capturing one more image. Wipe the front of that screen because a splash of that cascade just in front of me just coming up. gives you a really different perspective of a waterfall shot. I hope you can hear me, there is a lot of background noise here with the falls, but yes. If you're doing stuff like this, do make sure you test the depth of the water out first. Use your tripod, walking poles, use a branch if you have to, a stick, but don't do nothing stupid. Okay, see you Alva Glen. So let me just show you something. This is actually called uh, Smuggler's Cave. Now, I'm not going to photograph this. Uh, I don't, particularly for me, I don't uh, think it's very photogenic unless you're really after a nice abstract at the waterfall at the end. But let me show you uh, Smuggler's Cave. So behind me here, it's a steep drop or a bit of a scramble down from the actual top itself. But let's get in there, show you about but it's very, very noisy, so uh, hopefully you can hear me. Just over here you have some nice abstracts of some rocks. And the main waterfall is just over the back here. Let me get you right in there. There you go, check it out. Lots and lots of noise in here though, lots of noise. There you go, Smuggler's Cave. So I'm going to push back down to uh, the glen itself and uh, hopefully get some nice scenes for you see you there well here we are uh, last composition for Alva Glen so yeah I found uh, this lovely little cascade right in front of me here just a bit of foreground interest with a waterfall in the background lots and lots of uh, spray mist coming in so let's try and grab this image. Focus on the foreground. ISO 100. I'm going to drop that down to ISO 50 just to play with the shutter speed a bit more. It is starting to rain now, which is not helping. Uh, what am I? Uh, F 6.3 and 6 of a second. And it's turning out absolutely sweet. Dead space with a golden tree. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. And the greenery of the moss still on the rocks is beautiful. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog on Alder Glen and uh, hopefully it inspire you to come here, do a bit of photography. Enjoy the images. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.